Welcome back, and we are going to continue analyzing and pointing to the most important points which were uh, said yesterday in the press conference of Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa Mudbouli regarding the uh, repercussions of COVID-19 and the Ukrainian-Russian uh, struggle on uh, the global economy and particularly on the Egyptian economy and our strategic plan to face these uh, negative repercussions and what to do to achieve development on the ground and to continue in on the right path which we have started since adopting our economic reform a few years ago. To shed more light on this, we are very much delighted to have with us via phone Dr. Mohammed Youssef, our economic expert. A very good morning to you, Dr. Youssef. Uh, good morning. Thank you for the introduction. Sir, uh, let's go immediately to the five pillars and starting with localizing our products or depending on our local product, products, uh, our local production as one of the most important pillars of our plan facing the current global economic crisis, uh, which uh, um, is taking place uh, as we speak, even uh, starting from uh, the pandemic to the Russian-Ukrainian war. Sure. Uh, what, when it comes to industry, I mean, the first thing that happened after COVID-19, already businesses have witnessed um, a, a problem in, the, in their supply chain. Already on their strategic uh, uh, direction, they were thinking towards going into other countries that are more closer to their markets. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have seen that these strategies started uh, materializing in certain countries where they are uh, looking for... Um, for the places where they can have their plants and uh, thus input material uh, and then uh, export from uh, from those countries. Of course, with the, with the Russian crisis uh, hitting, uh, that became even more uh, important, and that is why it is part of the of the government strategy as well to attract the foreign investment that can come into the country and um, and increase industrial uh, industrial level. That is on one hand. On yeah. the other hand, uh, in terms of, uh, of already existing local industries and manufacturing, uh, in, order, in order to develop that, uh, we will need uh, to, to upgrade uh, that, uh, that's on, the, uh, on one side and increase the value addition so that we can actually have the quality that can permit us to, uh, to export. Because having um, substituting the imports in, the, in itself will need, uh, will need us to uh, work more towards especially the input materials and having it from the country or from within the region uh, with the same quality that uh, we were having before. Well, sir, also among the um, uh, most important points which uh, uh, were raised yesterday in the press conference was to give a bigger share for the private sector and to have instead of 30%, 65%, and this is going to take place in the coming three years. In the very same time or in the very same day, there was a very important meeting which took place between presided over by President Abdel Fattah Sisi, Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa Madbouli, and Minister of... Um, communications and IT, Dr. Amr Talat, and um, um, the presidential directives were that clear to pave the way or to, uh, to uh, eliminate all obstacles uh, on the way for Egyptian entrepreneurs and to implement or to apply on the ground tax exemptions for the startups. How do you see this? How do you see having the two in the very same day, meaning it's not only or ink on paper, it's things which are going to be implemented on the ground, on the spot. Yes, well, that's a, that's a vote of confidence. I mean, uh, that, uh, that we're seeing because, um, I mean, that the main purpose of, of, the, of the press conference itself is actually to give uh, the message that the economy is recovering and that the government is going to work hard on, uh, on making that happen. And having on the same day the meeting and starting the implementation right away that actually reinforces this message. So uh, definitely in this time, I mean, one of the things that uh, we need to focus on is actually implement whatever um, uh, recommendations came out of the conference, simply because that would give the, the message either to international organizations, international financial institutions, as well as investors, uh, that uh, actually the government is implementing what they, are, uh, what they are recommending at the end of the day. Sir, privatization, if there is a term like that, um, we tried to do it, um, I think, two, two decades or three decades ago. 
and unfortunately it was marred with corruption let's face it but this time it's going to be totally different and it's going to be based on scientific rules and economic uh, rules to guarantee that it's going to be inshallah a story of success how we can uh, learn from the uh, lost uh, process lessons and what's our homework to help the state um, in achieving its uh, goals on the ground? Well, I think, uh, I, I mean, there are, there are so many things that happen uh, and there are details on, uh, in terms of the privatization that happened before that we can learn from. Mm -hmm. uh, but I would say the first thing and the most important would be actually to have the companies that are going to go for IPOs have a, a, a management, um, I would say, restructuring in the beginning, making sure that these businesses are already making at least profit or have the business plan that can support their growth. And uh, accordingly, you know, any investor who would come and, uh, and, and invest in those uh, would, would be something lucrative for them and, and hence can, can grow the business accordingly. Uh, sir, a yes or no question, because this is going to lead uh, to another question. The bourse, the stock market, is it a real or, um, um, I'm not going to say an active, is it um, a good indicator for the economy um, if it is going forward or unfortunately it's suffering a setback? A yes or no question? Uh, <laughs> that's a difficult <laughs> one, <laughs> but I would, say, I would say yes. Okay. Why? Because um, one of the, um, the points which were raised is to merge the seven main ports of Egypt into one under one company and it's going to be listed in the Egyptian bourse. How do you see this as a move to support our stock indices or to send a message to the international economic community that Egypt has a real resilient economy? Well, the resilience comes from, from, from many aspects. But when it, when it comes to, uh, um, you know, to having IPOs in the, in the stock exchange, this, is, this in itself is an indicator that, uh, that there are certain businesses there that um, uh, are stable and have the capacities to be uh, traded upon. And, and that would attract, uh, attract investors in the, in the stock exchange, whether international or local. Mm -hmm. uh, in terms, in terms of um, just like I, I told you, I mean, all of the measures that are being taken is actually going to have a positive effect on the stock exchange because this vote of confidence in itself would make investors look into Egypt with a different uh, with a different look in terms of uh, not only uh, among all of emerging markets where they are all having troubles currently. Uh, but among those countries, we are actually taking steps, and th these steps were announced, and then uh, actions are being implemented as we speak. Sir, if it was not the economic, uh, the economic reform which we adopted in 2016, I think the case would be that different to the worst. And what Egypt started uh, about uh, six years ago, we are uh, gaining its uh, fruitful result these days, despite the fact that the whole world is suffering from COVID-19 and the lockdowns, which took place for almost two years, and uh, currently the Russian-Ukrainian crisis. Do you agree with me on that? I agree, yes. Great. Regarding the coming period, a lot of homework should be done. But why? Because we are going through uh, the development path. In the same time, we are taking care, or the cabinet is taking care of the low income brackets, and we are expanding our uh, social uh, solidarity um, uh, networks or the social economic protection plan for the needy brackets. How do you see this balance? Uh, I mean, this balance was, was, was there from the start, even in the economic reform, as you mentioned. Because, I mean, it is, uh, it is one integral part that we have seen the programs that have been implemented, whether at the Kefal and Karama and other, uh, and other programs uh, with, the, uh, with developments in the different governorates. And, and, and we can see that on an infrastructural level and on a social and individual level as well. Mm -hmm. uh, this is going to be a must um, in, in actually, you know, protecting... Uh, those lower income groups from the effects, especially uh, the increase in prices that happened because of the Ukrainian war and even because of the devaluation as well. 
I mean, it is going to be a compounded uh, increase in food prices, and this is going to have its toll on, on everyone, but in particular to uh, the lower income groups. And that is why social safety nets are, are important in making sure that, uh, that this does not affect the, a multitude of people. Uh, so expanding on that, making sure that in the budget that there is, uh, uh, you know, dedicated amounts uh, for uh, for protection, uh, it becomes a, a imperative, and and that is clear from the strategy and from the presentation that was conducted yesterday. That this is one of the most important pillars, the five pillars that were mentioned, and uh, it cannot uh, it cannot go uh, without without having the proper attention uh, towards. Dr. Youssef, I'm really enjoying our discussion, but unfortunately we're running out of time. I have only two minutes, but I oh. should see the opportunity here to speak about something which is the layman on the street interest. I mean, we are not experts in economy, but we would find uh, experts saying that the inflation rate, the hike of inflation rate in the United States, for example, is going to affect us here in Egypt. How? Well, I mean, I mean, one one thing that we need to realize when it comes to the dynamics of the inflation inflation in Egypt is different than than the rest of the world. In terms of our inflation, is actually uh, not not demand driven, but it's largely supply driven. Unlike other countries and unlike the United States, mm -hmm. of course, inflation rates when they are increased in, in certain countries like the U.S. the the automatic effect would be uh, on on us is when they start using the tools and, and tightening the, their monetary policy by increasing the interest rate, which we've seen. Once they increase the interest rate already, the investors would fly from emerging markets, including Egypt, and putting their money in the, in the state. That is the effect. The flight of the dollar from, from because of that effect is, uh, is of course, is affecting us. And, uh, and that is why the, the government is working towards, um, you know, attracting more investments uh, especially on the on the bonds and bills that uh, that we issue, uh, we will see. I mean, in the coming uh, MPC meeting, and uh, I, I I expected that the central bank would definitely have a, uh, you know a, <laughs> an interesting discussion whether to increase our interest rates as well and by how much in order to at least combat the effect of the flight of the dollars. Dr. Youssef, I'll give you three choices, and you choose one. Okay. About yes. the coming phase, pessimistic, About optimistic, cautiously optimistic. Cautiously, very cautiously optimistic. A fourth one. Well, uh, Dr. Muhammad Youssef, our economic expert, thank you very much for your valuable input, sir, and have a very good day. Thank you. Thank you. And by this, we come to the end of this episode of a score sheet kilometer of, I um, beg your pardon, of uh, uh, our breakfast show. Stay tuned on Nile TV International Hours for more updates and for more details. Please log on to www.nileinternational.net. You are in the company of my dear colleague, Amal Mukhtar, and myself, Nirmin Abdurrahman. Many thanks for watching. It's a goodbye for now.